Taurus, well, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year to you. It's now January 2019 and my name is Kim Enchantress and I'm here to do your Lenormand scope for the next 12 months. I'll be pulling three cards from the Enchanted Lenormand deck for each month. Uh, because it's a 39 uh, card um, in the Enchanted Lenormand, the three cards that are left over we're going to be using as the energies that you're bringing into 2019 or what you're leaving behind in 2018. So we'll get started. Um, what I'm getting for you for the year is discernment and I had that for I think it was Aries, don't quote me. But today on the 1st of January I want you to watch your own mind and you're the only one that can do this. Look closely at anything that you take into your life whether it be um, a new project, a new scheme, a new situation, a new person, whether it's food or clothing. Um, and you know, you pretty much deserve the best of things in your life here, Taurus. So use discernment and use this with uh, rhythm and grace for 2019. Now we have the um, heart, the fox and the whip here. And what this means for you is um, Maybe uh, you're a workaholic here, Taurus. This is someone who loves to work over and over because it's repeated with the, the broom here. Um, this could be a physical love that you throw yourself into. This is passion, definitely passion. This could be um, a relationship where someone's wearing a false mask and there's a lot of quarrels here. And some of you may be setting a trap. So if you're a hunter of some kind, you may be setting a trap for an animal and that's a little bit uh, out there but uh, or this is someone you know so um, this is what's happening for the year for you so we'll go on to January we have the mountain we have the Sun and we've got the letter for January 2019 and this is um, some issues that are going on around the summer period um, this could be to do with a, a problem or problematic uh, contract here, some issues with a contract of some kind. Um, maybe some uh, Torians are going to purchase a passport or some to go to a foreign country here with the, um, the mountain and this is going to be during a summer period. We'll go to February, we've got the child, we've got the clover and we've got the book. So um, what this means for you is there's going to be some small luck here. It could be to do with education or learning. It could be um, a child that's keeping a secret here with the, um, the clover in the book. Or um, it could be options about studying. Um, it could be a child that's keeping a secret in a book. Or, for, or a child that's picked a four leaf clover and they're keeping it in a book. It could um, also be a new uh, start and just being optimistic about learning. There's definitely um, some sort of secrets that's taking place here in February. Now we'll go to March and it's the key. We've got the stalk and we've got the garden here. So um, what this means for you is there's some sort of significant change here with the key and the stalk and um, this could be about finding public respect here with the garden and some of you are going to embark on a new social circle in the month of March so we're going to go to April um, now and we'll see what April's got for you we've got the man we've got the bear and we've got the house so this could be um, a man's boss or a man's got the authority in their in their household. This could be um, a man's home here or your parents having the authority. Could, could be a, um, a mother figure that's got the authority here. Uh, this could be just um, finances, looking at finances to renovate or just looking at your assets here in April. We'll go to May and we've got the star and we've got the ship and we've got the lily here so in May we've got um, 
someone being well known here in a foreign country. Now this could be being favoured by an older generation here. Um, maybe some of you are fame, uh, famous and you have to go overseas to do travel for this and this could be something that you've been doing for a long time and this is about your expertise. This could be some of you travelling uh, to re on retirement, you've retired, um, it could be the sun sign or a zodiac sign here, so it could be the sun for some of you. So we'll go to June and we're halfway through 2019, this is the ring, the rider and the coffin. So what we've got here is a commitment, it's a commitment and this to an athletic person or a sporty person, someone that's got very strong legs. Now this could be also a contract that's coming to an end here with the ring and the coffin. It could be some news coming through, someone's passing through to give you some news on a relative um, that has passed over or there's some sort of ending in a relationship for the month of June. So we'll go on to July and we have the man, the crossroads and we have the tower here for the month of July and this is a, a man that has choices here with the crossroads. This is also um, a man who's in authority or who's um, very proud, very ambitious, has choices about his ambition. Um, this could be choices over official matters here for the month of July. So we go to August and we've got the birds, we've got the clouds and we've got the mice. So um, what this means for you is there's some gossip here that's causing confusion with the clouds. This could be on social media, maybe getting too many notifications and the negativity is slowly going to affect you in some way, it's stressing you out. So it could be someone that's gossiping about you on social media. Um, we'll go on to September, we've got the scythe, we've got the tree and we've got the bouquet. So um, this is about maybe you want to cut down uh, a tree or you're going to do some pruning on a tree or some flowers here in September. Um, some of you could be having surgery because this is a health card um, and you're receiving beautiful flowers, that type of thing. Uh, definitely going to be um, receiving something from a family member. It could be an, inter an inheritance. Um, from the month before. Now we'll go to October, we've got the anchor and we've got the dog and we've got the crossing here. So what this means for you is a pet, this could be a pet or a friend that's going to be reliable and consistent in October and um, this could be after permanent suffering. Maybe a friend's been suffering or a dog's been suffering um, and they've been in a lot of pain but they're going to become um, stable and reliable and consistent and that's around October so we go to November we've got the diviner we've got the woman and we've got the snake so this could be a woman that needs help this month um, this could be a woman that needs help because she's been deceptive this could be two, wom uh, two women here or um, a woman could be in trouble so she's consulting professional help so this could be someone that you hear about in the family or friends in your social circle doesn't always have to be about you here, Taurus. Now we'll go to the last month, which is December 2019. We've got the woman, we've got the moon, and we've got the fish. So what this could mean is a woman is feeling a bit hormonal this month, or emotional. Um, there could be mood swings here. This could be over investments or creative, um, a creative business. So that's what we have for the year, there's just brief messages for each month and in January I'll go back to the three cards that I've read for you and I'll pull a nine card spread out for you so we'll go into deep uh, deep meaning of what it all meant and I just want to thank you all for coming back to my channel for a reading and um, I hope you had a good festive season with your family and friends and look forward to a better 2019. So love and blessings to you Taurus, bye for now.